Howdy folks, how's it going? I'm here behind a, a library, kind of a random spot here in California on a hot summer's day. So I'm going to tell a story here that I've told in previous videos, um, but it came to mind to do it again because it's been a couple of years since I told this story and it is a very uh, profound one. And there's also a very specific reason why it came to mind for me to tell this story right now, which I will reveal at the end of the video. That's kind of cool. So this video is about a childhood experience of mine when I was six years old and I was sitting in a movie theater watching the movie Superman, the original uh, first Superman movie that came out in 1978. I was born in 1972, so I was six years old. And I was sitting there watching the movie, the very beginning of the movie, and the first scene, or one of the first scenes, depicts Superman as a baby being sent to Earth. So his parents are... Uh, on the planet Krypton in this kind of weird, uh, you know, building inside this room with all these like crystals and stuff and they're looking all sort of cosmic and, and you know, dressed weird like they're from outer space, which they are. And so his parents are putting him in this space pod to send him to Earth. And so he's put in this little space pod and then um, the uh, next scene shows him journeying to Earth and uh, it's this tumultuous journey of the space pod like rattling around and the baby's crying and stuff and in the middle of watching this scene as a six-year-old sitting there in the dark of this movie theater then I was completely flooded with a memory from my subconscious that I had had a experience similar to this in some capacity and you know obviously I didn't really understand you know what it really meant at the time and and I still don't really understand exactly what it means but this was not some sort of a sort of kids imagination like wouldn't it be cool if I had you know an experience like that or just imagining you know what it would be like to be Superman flying through space or whatever it was nothing like that it was this memory that uh, completely overwhelmed me from my from my subconscious that was quite a frightening and very overwhelming and just mind-blowing uh, you know, triggering of a memory of something that I very much felt I had experienced in my past, of having come from some other whatever place, dimension, star, galaxy, planet, something. And so, you know, I just continued watching the movie. I didn't uh, tell anything about my experience to my parents or anything. It was just this overwhelming thing, like, what the hell was that? And so I told this story in one of my interviews with Teal Swan. Um, then I brought up this uh, story of mine to talk about the concept of star seeds. And so this, for me, was very much a confirmation of that star seed concept of people coming to Earth from uh, far away for you know a variety of purposes. And I've had no further memory since then. Um, to kind of explain where I came from or, or anything, um, you know, further to add to that. No more memories of, like, my experience or life or whatever in this other um, realm. Um, that would be cool. I'm totally open to that, but that hasn't happened yet. Um, so I have kind of nothing further to add to it other than just that, that one experience that, um, you know, I still remember and I still remember that that just overwhelming um, feeling of, you know, being a six-year-old and having such a profound um, memory like that uh, that you can't make sense of at the time. And so what Teal said was that she could actually see this um, experience of mine in some sense and that the space pod was a analogy. Uh, you know, I, I didn't actually, you know, journey here in a space pod, but this was, this was triggering my uh, experience in a different context, in a different manner of, of journeying down through the dimensions to, to Earth. And she actually said that this had occurred to me um, after I was born. So I'm not completely clear on how that works still, but something about that this was, you know, me coming from another dimension and then merging with this, with this baby and maybe some other consciousness that was in the baby at that time and then, you know, carrying on with this life from there, or something like that. I, you know, that's just what she said, and I have no uh, um, specific recollection of, of whether that's true or not and how that works. But 
anyways, there you go. That is my uh, memory of um, coming from somewhere far, far away um, to begin my life here on Earth. So now I will uh, reveal to you why it occurred to me to uh, tell that story right now. It's a pretty cool thing. So first thing I'll mention is this library is in the town where I was raised, Willits, California, and this is the library that I spent a lot of time in when I was a kid. This is the, uh, or at least it was, I'm not sure now, but this was the children's uh, section of the library. The adult section was upstairs, but I was mostly hanging out here when I was a kid, and so this was all children's books, and it was a very cozy um, environment, and so this was the door that you would go in uh, and uh, avoid having to go to the adult section. And now I'm going to walk around and show something else. So this is the city park. And there is the main entrance to the library. It is the 4th of July, so there's 4th of July stuff going on. Check it out. The Noyo Theater. So this is the movie theater where I had that experience. It was the Noyo Theater back then. You can see it's an old funky looking sign. So, more than 35 years ago, about 37 years ago, then I was um, sitting in this movie theater and remembered that I came to Earth from another dimension. Pretty wild stuff. All right, thanks for watching. Take it easy.